Welcome to our midweek devotional. My name is Pastor Stephanie Soon, and I'm a part-time minister of care here at Shepherd of the Hills. The title of our devotional today is Grandpa's Hands. And as we prepare to hear the words of the devotional, I invite you to take your hands, place them in front of you with the palms up, and then as you listen to the words, look at your own hands and think about what these hands have been through and have provided for you. Grandpa's hands. Grandpa, some 90 years old, sat feebly on the patio bench. He didn't move too much. He just sat there with his head down between his hands. When I sat down beside him, he didn't even acknowledge my presence. And the longer I sat there, I wondered if he was really okay. Finally, not really wanting to disturb him, but wanting to check on him, I said, Grandpa, are you okay? He raised his hand and then looked at me and put his head up, smiled, and he said, Oh, I'm fine, really, in a clear, strong voice. I was just resting. Well, I, I didn't want to bother you, Grandpa, but I, I just wanted to check on and he turned to me and he said, have you ever taken a good look at your hands? And I kind of looked down and I said, no, I, I guess I really haven't done that. And he said, well, I'd like for you to take a few minutes looking at your hands. So I did and I looked and I really didn't understand the point he was trying to make. But then he began to speak. Stop and think for a minute about the hands you have and how they have served well throughout your years. These hands, though perhaps wrinkled and shriveled and bent, have been the tools that I have used all my life to reach out and to grab and embrace life. They braced and caught my fall when as a toddler I crashed upon the floor. They put food in my mouth and clothes on my back. As a child, my mother taught me to fold them in prayer. They tied my shoes and pulled on my boots. They had been dirty, scraped, and raw, swollen, and bent. They were uneasy and clumsy when I tried to hold my firstborn child. Decorated with my wedding band, they showed the world that I was married and loved by someone very special. They wrote the letters home and trembled and shook when I buried my parents and my spouse and when I walked my daughter down the aisle. Yet they were strong and sure when I dug my buddy out of a foxhole and lifted a plow off of my best friend's foot. They have held children, they have helped neighbors and shook in fists of anger when I didn't understand. They have covered my face, combed my hair, and washed and cleansed the rest of my body. These hands have been sticky and wet, bent and broken, dried and raw. And to this day, when not much of anything else works real well, these hands still hold me up. They lay me down and again continue to fold in prayer. These hands are the mark of where I've been and the ruggedness of my life. But more importantly, it will be these hands that God will reach out and take when he leads me home. And with my hands, he will lift me up to his side and there I will use these hands to touch the face of God. I will never look at my hands the same again, but I remember God reached out and took my grandpa's hands and did lead him home. When my hands are hurt or sore, or when I stroke the face of my children, my wife, I think of grandpa. I know he has been stroked and caressed and held by the hands of God. I too want to touch the face of God and feel his hands upon my face.
we give thanks for our hands and all that they have done and all that they have accomplished the way they have taken care of us and the way they have taken care of others and we look forward to like grandpa when we will reach out with our hands and be lifted up so that we might touch the face of God. Amen. And God bless you this week.